Cool water leaks have been identified as an important maintenance problem facing rolling stock operators, and it has been suggested that improved clamps could be the solution to this problem. Gates Research has developed a solution to cool leaks and in the process identified another significant problem, water permeation from silicon hoses. Gates Research suggests the use of two Superior Gates products, Blue Stripe Coolant Hose and the revolutionary new PowerGrip SB Hose Clamp. Let's see what Gates has done to resolve the overall problem of water or coolant loss from the cooling system. Common causes of leakage are the continual expansion and contraction of hose and fittings as the engine heats and cools, and hose clamps that exert uneven pressure on the surface of the fitting. Performance under temperature conditions ranging from minus 29 degrees Celsius to over 120 degrees Celsius varies widely for the three major classes of clamps. Constant dimension clamps, constant tension clamps and Gates' newest contribution to the field, polymeric clamps. Constant dimension clamps, such as the popular worm drive clamp, retain the same diameter regardless of the expansion or contraction of the hose and fitting. Cold leaks are a common problem with these clamps. Constant tension clamps change diameter as the hose and fitting expand and contract. But Gates' new patented polymeric clamps, the new kids on the block, have properties that make them uniquely qualified to prevent leakage at the fitting. Let's see how. As you can see, both constant dimension and constant tension clamps allow gaps to form on the hose and fitting, letting coolant leak from the system. This problem is magnified by fittings that are not perfectly round. Gates SB power grip clamps maintain a tight grip on the hose and fitting under conditions of both extreme heat and extreme cold. The troublesome cold leak is eliminated once and for all. Let's look at the laboratory tests that prove this. The apparatus is designed to measure the grip on hoses and fittings by a hose clamp on eight positions around the circumference of the fitting. Here's a cross section of the apparatus. A pressure measurement cell is located at each of the eight sectors around the tester. A hose was clamped to the tester using each of the three types of clamps. Constant dimension, a 1.75 inch screw or worm drive clamp. Constant tension, a 1.75 inch spring steel clamp and a 1.75 inch power grip SB polymeric clamp. The apparatus was then placed in a temperature control chamber which cycled 10 times from 27 degrees Celsius up to 93 degrees Celsius down to minus 29 degrees Celsius and back again. This chart shows the load on the finger registering the least pressure as temperature was increased, decreased and increased again. First, the screw clamp was tightened down in a 27 degrees Celsius environment. The load drops slightly as the clamp digs into the hose. As the chamber heats up, the load stays fairly constant at about 85 pounds of pressure. As temperature starts to drop, the load or clamp pressure drops dramatically at first and then slowly decreases further to about 5 pounds. When the load hits zero, leaking will result. And as you can see, each additional cycle of heat and cold pressure of the constant dimension clamp at the cold end decreases until it quickly dips to zero pounds and allows gaps to form at temperatures as moderate as 7 degrees Celsius. The only reason a connection would not leak under these conditions is the natural tendency of EPDM hose material to bond with the fitting under even pressure. No such bond occurs with silicon hose. The constant tension clamp seems to perform better than the constant dimension one, maintaining its grip on the hose and fitting as temperature dips into the moderate range. But as temperature dips below minus 18 degrees Celsius, the load drops to zero, again inviting coolant leakage and increasing maintenance costs. Now the superiority of the PowerGrip SB clamp becomes clear. As temperatures cycle from hot to cold and back again 10 times, clamp pressure from the hose and fitting remains in a consistent range from 20 to 45 pounds. Cool leaks are prevented, 
even in silicone hose, which does not bond to the metal fitting. Powergrip SB clamps eliminate the leaks you can see, but Gates research shows that there may be significant leakage you don't see. The problem occurs with silicon hose. The glass walled apparatus you are looking at was set up to demonstrate a significant silicon hose problem, water permeation. The blue stripe hose section on the left, the silicon hose section on the right, are each sealed in their own airtight chamber. There are glass walls forming the back and front, top and bottom of each chamber. A pump circulates water heated to 82 degrees Celsius under 12 pounds of pressure running through both hoses left to right, then back to the reservoir to be continuously heated. Through time-lapse photography, we will see that the hot water escapes from through the wall of the silicon hose at a rate many times the EPDM hose. In fact, the rate at which water escapes from the silicon hose has been measured at 10 or more times the permeation of the EPDM hose. This means the typical Class A truck engine, equivalent to the standard engine used on rolling stock, operating at 99 degrees Celsius, with a two shift per day driving cycle, would lose almost 4.1 gallons of water a year through silicon hose. This compares with a water loss of 0.2 gallons per year using EPDM hose. While water molecules permeate the hose, ethylene glycol does not. This means that if you're replacing the lost fluid with a water antifreeze mixture, the concentration of ethylene glycol solution will increase every time the coolant is topped up. Over time, the effectiveness of the coolant is lost, decreasing cooling efficiency and raising the freezing point as the coolant becomes more concentrated. Supplementary coolant additive packages are often added to restore balance to the system. So, if you're losing fluids from permeation, it is important to top up often and to use only water. If fluid loss is due to cold leaks at the fitting, a mixture of water and antifreeze should be used. And here's the visual proof of the permeability of silicon hose. Over a 48 hour period, the silicon hose chamber has become markedly more humid than the EPDM side. These findings were recently confirmed in independent tests by a major engine manufacturer. So let's recap the evidence that Gates leads the way in designs for tomorrow's rail applications. Power grip SB clamps never need retightening, so they are maintenance free. SB clamps conform to any shape of hose or fitting, so even out of round applications never leak. SB clamps are made of a thermoplastic material that is unaffected by oil or other engine fluids and they have an attractive professional appearance. SB clamps have no sharp edges so they won't scrape knuckles during other maintenance. SB clamps are wider than traditional metal clamps so the pan covers more surface area including the bead which offers greater sealing capacity. One style of SB clamp covers all hoses including delicate silicon and standard rubber hoses. SB clamps are made of heat sensitive thermoplastic with a memory that prevents them from over or under tightening. They are environmentally friendly, eliminating antifreeze leaks and groundwater contamination. Gates Blue Stripe Coolant Hose sets the standard for the industry, prevents significant water loss through the hose wall, eliminating the need for frequent water fill-ups and assuring the optimum concentration of antifreeze in the cooling system. Unlike silicon hose, it bonds to the stem, helping to prevent leaks. It's resistant to electrochemical degradation, which can destroy ordinary hose from the inside. It costs less, and when used with power grip SB clamps, it has over 750,000 mile durability. Gates Blue Stripe Coolant Hose and Power Grip SB Clamps are setting a new standard for tomorrow's rail applications.